Hi, I'm Dave Jones from the EEV blog, one of nine judges in the Hackaday Prize, where we're going to send one of five lucky finalists to space. Or the cash equivalent. You have to be pretty brave to go due to recent events. Anyway, we've got five fantastic projects in the final. You've no doubt seen them, all very worthy of being there. And it is quite hard to pick an overall winner because there's good and bad points about every project. Really, I'm going to talk about good points about each one of them. Here we go. The portable SDR project. What I really like about this one is that taking an existing concept, hey, uh, software defined radios, nothing new about those, they're all the rage at the moment, but taking the concept that, hey, I want one of these things to be useful and compact and used out in the field in the middle of nowhere. And as somebody who appreciates the outdoors and that loves being in the middle of nowhere in the outback here in Australia, then I, you know, I love the concept that it's engineered specifically for that niche application and it's executed brilliantly. It does exactly what it wants. The user interface, so simple, so perfect, designed just the way it should be designed for that uh, remote portable application. Terrific work. The Chip Whisperer project, wow. Take a look at this one. Absolutely classic example of getting an idea. We wanna investigate the security of hardware chips and devices and things like that and then executing it to perfection and just nailing every possible aspect of it. Absolutely brilliant and the documentation absolutely stunning and complete unbelievable and as far as i'm aware there's really nothing quite like it that just nails it in its completeness like the chip whisperer have so yep awesome work on the chip whisperer love it the satnogs project what i love about this one is just the grand scope of it they want to put these things all around the world and not only that it's not just a dream but they've actually engineered and structured and designed the thing and uh, management and subdivided it into different projects to allow them to actually do that it's a thoroughly professional project and well it's just well done brilliant the ramen pie. What I love about this one is that actually opened my eyes to the fact that you could build a do-it-yourself spectrometer. I had no idea such a thing was possible. I thought spectrometers were, you know, only the uh, affordable to large labs, big expensive bits of kit. But it turns out you can actually design and build your own. Excellent. Who knew? I love it. And the fact that it's open so that everyone can build upon it and, uh, you know, the whole community gets a really good uh, do-it-yourself spectrometer out of it. Excellent. And I love the very comprehensive nature of the design and the continued refinement. It just seems to get bigger and better each time I look at it. The science tricorder. What nerd hasn't dreamed about having a tricorder? Unbelievable. And this one is executed really well. I love the design and the build of it and the fa and the user interface is just well, well planned and executed open source tricorder. Well done. So good luck to all five finalists. They're all very worthy projects, destined to be there. Thanks for everyone who entered the Hackaday uh, prize contest. I've enjoyed looking at your videos. And it's a bit of a tough gig being a judge too. You, uh, you can't help but have your personal favorites because that's what you're, you might be interested in, for example. But then you've got to comparatively judge them all across the same criteria. And it makes it rather difficult. And in the end, it really is quite hard to choose um, an overall winner for these things, but yeah, one of them did stand out for me. Let's see if it wins. I don't know. I'm only one of nine judges. Anything can happen. Good luck to the winner and all the finalists as well. And thank you everyone for entering. It's been awesome. Catch you next time.